in 2010. A man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the, the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome because we're just plain awesome. No explanation. Uh, this is our first episode and we might as well introduce ourselves so you know us a little better. And to make it clear, we're going to state our name, age, uh, anything that we do, like promote ourselves, uh, probably favorite song or favorite movie. And I'm going to let Chris do his introduction first. Okay, uh, I'm Chris, and uh, I'm 18, going on 13, from what I've been told. Uh, I have a show on the forums called Nerd Rage that you should totally watch right now because it's awesome. Uh, I work at a job that is not awesome, but we'll save that for another time. Uh, what else about me? Favorite movie is The Taking of Pelham 123, the 1974 version with Robert Shaw, Walter Matthau. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty much just an awesome person, so we'll leave it at that. Alrighty then, I might as well just go since I'm the host of this podcast. Uh, I'm Z Scootin Mike. I am 20 going on 21. I still live with my parents. I'm currently in college <laughs> uh, for a business management degree. That's why I'm so busy half the time, and I don't upload videos. And speaking of videos, I got a few series of my own that I'm working on. One being uh, Scooter Mike Presents, also known as SMP for short, where I review music and or music videos from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and mostly the 2000 era. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, I have another series known as Verses, where I uh, compare a original song to a cover version of the song. Like, for example, Land of Confusion by Genesis versus... Land of Confusion by Disturb. Which the Disturbed version is clearly better. <laughs> yeah, shit, Genesis is better than Disturbed. Uh, Lies. And, and my last series that I'm planning on doing is called Eargasm, where I present a awesome song that you have to listen to, whether it being classic, new, or just something you haven't heard before. A uh, favorite song, which is the most awesome song of the week on the podcast is In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins, who I listen to every fucking day. And my favorite movie, of course, is Frickin' Back to the Future, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, Days and Confused, uh, The Dark Knight, and so forth. I'm a big movie junkie as well as a music junkie. And that's pretty Jeez. much it. Jesus, I take like I take like three minutes introduce myself, my age, and a favorite movie in one show. Mike's got three shows, like five favorite movies, <laughs> and an argument. Yeah. Uh, damn, That's... I know you're the host, but give your subject some time. Holy crap, man! <laughs> Just call this podcast "Attack of the Mic." <laughs> Where if you bat the mic over the head with a mic. <laughs> I'm a whore. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, it's or me. It's an attack of the scooter mic. <laughs> <laughs> and anywho, uh, I'm the last host in here. My name's Susie. I am 27, going on about 12. Um, because I have the attention span of a gnat, apparently. Um, I have a couple of series out. The main one that I do is called the Blockbuster Chick Reviews, under the nickname uh, Wild Guesses. It's a Blockbuster Chick. I look at really 
crappy, crappy blockbuster movies that were apparently made to make a lot of money, which should never have been made, but still have made a lot of money anyway. Uh, for example, 2012, which is the most hated movie in the world. I hate it with a passion. So that was my first review. And uh, my next up... Uh, yeah, it's just shit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my next upcoming review will be Wild Wild West, so look out for that. And my other series I do is called Toon Switch. Uh, the concept is basically I take two completely different movies, like Bambi, for example, and The Deer Hunter, and I swap around their theme songs and put clips on with them and see what they look like. Some are really freaky, and some are really, really, really funny. Um, so check that out on that guy with the glasses dot com the forums. Favorite movie of all time would have to be the Truman Show, uh, just because I think my life is kind of like that. Uh, everybody watching you and you're the star of your own life. And favorite favorite singer at the moment and for the last couple of years has been Adam Lambert. Favorite song you guys probably won't have heard of. I've been playing this for months on end. It's by a guy called Plan B over here in the UK, and it's called She Said. It's absolutely awesome. If you type it in on YouTube and check it out, it's one of the best songs ever. Interesting. Yeah, so that is everybody. So you know us a little better. This podcast, we're trying to go weekly. And maybe if we can't go weekly, we'll try to go bi-weekly. So mm-hmm. next week, I don't think we would have a podcast because Chris and I would be at Daishukan. And but I'll be doing a f- and, and, I, and I'll be doing a show. <laughs> so the next episode will probably be after Daishukan if this works out right. Which it better. <laughs> because we have been trying to record this damn episode for at least a Mom. month. <sighs> it It's all my fault. I tried to get the record working. I had to get this and that. And I'm, it's a totally epic fail. But Susie is the savior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I discovered. Sorry uh, the... that, folks. Uh, <laughs> Mike had to kind of poop right there. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> That's so yeah. gross. Oh, pick, pick, <laughs> on, pick on the host. Pick on the main host of the podcast. Hey, well, I might, will, might, kick, I might you kick you out and replace you. You might get a shit. Yeah, I know you will. You would have to get a shitty ass recorder, wouldn't you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, you can't kick us off. We saved your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we don't have a, always don't have a always get always get a backup plan because shit could happen anytime always get a woman to do a man's job exactly I have no argument over that <laughs> ladies could do whatever men can do I have no problem with that just a little bit better exactly uh, um Let's see. And we introduced ourselves. We talk about Chris and I go to Daisho Khan. And we, I talk, we hoard ourselves with our websites and our uh, video series. What else should we talk about? I'm Harry so Potter's old. coming out. That's what we goddamn will talk about. Jeez. Yeah, the final, final movie is going to be coming out. Part one. <laughs> the final movie part. One. Or part one, yeah. Yeah, huh? I guess it's that's, too that's long. That's the saying, oh yeah, we've got, we've got one, we've got one movie left. What should we do? Should we? We're going to stop making money. Well, we, <laughs> we should put, cut it into two parts. Yeah, two parts. Yeah, let's cut it into two parts and we just whore ourselves out. And leave it. Can we make Harry Potter 8? No, there's no 8th book. Hmm. Mm, Harry, Harry Potter gets a job. <laughs> Hey, J.K. Rowling, can you write an eighth book for us? We need to make money. Oh, she's actually have talking of... Have a spin-off story. Let's go. She's talking of writing another book. Because it was on Oprah Winfrey or something. She was uh, poss- hinting at writing another one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because I watch Oprah all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't watch it. It was on it was on the the news channels over here just saying she might write an eighth book, but we don't know. That was a highlight of the news program. <laughs> oh, you gotta love you gotta love those. That's a headline news for you. She may or may not write another book. <laughs> Yeah, it was all the, someone's been killed, someone's been run over, there's war, and J.K. Rowling might write another book! That's, that's headline news. Yeah. That's right up there with Steven Spielberg might direct another movie. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, dearie me. That would be funny if uh, they uh, did a crossover with uh, Harry Potter and Twilight. Oh, that would not be awesome. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched uh, a Simpsons episode last night, a Halloween one, um, yeah. and Daniel Radcliffe was in it. Yeah. And so, oh, cool. okay. I ha- no, he was playing one of the vampires from Twilight. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So they've done it, baby! See, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind yes, of... I am one of the many people who cannot stand Twilight. Oh, me too. Oh. I, uh, I've seen uh, about five minutes of it. That was it. That was enough. I saw the riff tracks of it, which makes it a million times better. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Those, yeah. uh... Um, Mr. Science Theater guys mm-hmm. yes. really make it worth watching. <laughs> Oh, yeah, speaking of Mr. Science... the entire riff tracks is... Line. Line. <laughs> line. <laughs> oh, I love that. It was, it was amazing. Actually, speaking of Mystery Science Theater, actually, did you know that uh, Joel, the main proprietor of Riff Tracks and Mystery Science Theater 3000, is from Steens Point, Wisconsin? Is it? <laughs> Yeah, she. He was born in. He was born in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Yeah, and he made sure to move out right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. There's a yeah, hint. But... There's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, eh, oh, eh. What else should we talk about? See, we, see, we need to get a freaking agenda for our podcast. Yeah, huh? You good uh, I've just seen uh, a game on uh, website play dot com. You can get DVDs and video games on there. I've seen the the game I want for Christmas. It's the twenty fifth anniversary edition of Super Mario Brothers. Oh mm-hmm. yeah! You get to play all the original <laughs> games on the Wii. Yeah. I just like, oh my god, my childhood in a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually getting a Wii for Christmas. I can't wait. I'm going to be playing the ever-loving shit out of Kirby's Epic Yarn. I cannot wait. <laughs> I love the Wii. Don't yep. you laugh at Kirby. Kirby is awesome. <laughs> no, he's, he's evil. We should have a segment on this for impersonations. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I don't want really to do no impersonations, you guys. No more. I don't get it. <laughs> I cannot stop myself from laughing at that. That's so good. <laughs> and we need the main host doing his best impression, don't we, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> what a cracking Mickey Mouse that is. <laughs> oh god, that's really good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have no free time. Oh, you have, oh, you have too much. <laughs> but too much time on our hands to do this stuff. I wanna do you Gentlemen, the only 
reason why you should listen to Attack of the Awesome, where we laugh and impersonate other people. Yes. Awesome. And then I think the best, the best one from 2012. Oh, it's yeah. Russian. It's Russian. <laughs> we are taking the Bentley. <laughs> Engine start. <laughs> I have two green cars for my boy and me. <laughs> oh boy. That's such a dumbass film. Yeah. I still have Snakes on a Plane to watch. I've got it on um, on a DVD to watch. Oh, yeah. You're in store for a great ride, Susie. <laughs> yeah. I'm hiding am... with all these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> That's like the main line you should know from that movie. It's... It's had a cult following ever since. Because it's so <laughs> shit? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's just, it's just snakes on a goddamn plane. What else there is to talk about? That's the <laughs> plot, plot right there in the fucking movie. You mean there's not a love triangle between the snakes and the man? <laughs> of course there is, but that's subtle. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Snakey. Why you gotta bite me so? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Snake, but I've had it with you on this motherfucking play. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, did did you see that um Doug's gonna be reviewing Waterworld? Yeah, I saw that. He stole my idea. I was going to do that later on. Oh, that's actually a good thing to talk about. Get serious for a second about this whole... Because I've been seeing this a lot, especially on the forums, where Doug posts, oh, I'm going to be reviewing this, this, and this, and people are like, well, fuck, now I can't review it because now Doug's reviewing it. Here's here's my opinion. Even if Doug's reviewing it, if you have a different, like, opinion or you have your own style of doing things or you have, like, different jokes, do your review anyway. Yeah. At least that's my opinion because Doug is not the only person who has reviewed Waterworld. There have been other people to review and there will other people there will be other people who will review Waterworld. Oh, yeah. I mean yeah. Doug doesn't have like this is not a, he doesn't have like a copyright on this. It's not like you're infringing copyright. The the worst that'll happen is you'll get a couple of like his trolls will come to you and like, "Oh my god, Doug did this." You can ignore people on the internet. Exactly. Hey, yeah. You got a right to like review. Those fools are gonna go to all their friends, and be like, "Oh my god, this guy reviewed uh, whatever water." Susie reviewed Waterworld. Oh my god, never watch her stuff. No, that's not what's gonna happen. They're just gonna be like, "Well, Doug reviewed it," and then that's gonna be all. Ah, well, and then they get shot. I'll take them out with my I've been, I've just been seeing that in a while. I'm just getting tired of people being like, oh, Doug, Doug posted that he's going to be reviewing this, and I had it planned to review that. Review it anyway. Just review the damn thing. Yeah. Exactly. What's, I mean, What the hell is stopping you? Just go do I, it. No one is stopping them, <laughs> but I keep seeing it on the forums, and I, I really, I'm really glad that you brought that up because I wanted to, really wanted to address that because I'm getting really, 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 really tired of seeing people – who have been posting on the forums for a long time, who obviously have their own style of thing, saying, well, Doug posted that he's going to review it, and now I don't want to. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it like three times now, and now four, counting you now, Susie. You said Doug's reviewing Waterworld. Review it anyway. Yeah. Uh, There's like ten films down the line. Um, yeah. That's what other ones are doing. Mm-hmm. Like Minority Report in Australia I'm going to do as well, but... I'm going to do them anyway, because they're shit. (laughs) I mean, there's nothing I've reviewed uh, so far. Well, I did review review End of Days, but that was way after Doug did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's bad if you do it, like, as soon as he reviews it, like, he reviews it, and then you review it. Maybe give, like, 
a month or may, at, le- at least to, like, you know, give yourself some separation mm-hmm. to kind of get rid of that at least a little bit. Yeah. Because not everybody's going to remember everything Doug has ever, ever reviewed. I think we found a new segment for you, Chris. Tonight on Chris Says. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Rages. Well, ben, at the sa- ben at the Sage discontinued words of wisdom, so I will pick it up and uh, I will. Here's a word of wisdom. If somebody if somebody posts that they're going to review something and you have it posted that you're going to review it too, review it anyway. Do it in your own style and make it your own. Exactly. There you go. The more you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go, catch, go! A video game! I got it working! My dad taught me about these. It is wild gunman. How do you play this thing? I'll show you, kid. I'm a crack shot at this. You have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Let's talk about the most awesome video game of the week. Oh. Well, two segments in a row for me. Booyah! (laughs) All right, the awesome game of the week. Um, is on ExplodingRabbit.com, which is the most awesome name for a website ever, other than ChrisTheNerd.com. Um, <laughs> they have a game called Super Mario Brothers Crossover. And it is essentially the original Super Mario Brothers game, but with a bit of a twist, in that you can play as some of your favorite NES characters, like Mega Man, Simon Belmont from Castlevania, Ryu from Ninja Gaiden, and... Uh, Samus, Link, and uh, basically you can run through all the stages of the original Super Mario Brothers, uh, but while playing as these characters who have their moves from their different For example, uh, there's Bill from Contra who has, he shoots a gun, and when you get a Fire Flower power-up, he gets the spread gun. So, it's really cool. Like Castlevania, uh, Simon Belmont, he throws axes and he has his whip. Uh, if you uh, get the Fire flower power up he's got the uh flame whip and he throws multiple axes at a time so it's really cool i definitely recommend somebody check it out yeah i played it a shitload of times and it's freaking epic yeah me too i played it a lot (laughs) it's it's a good it's a good concept for a game it's like holy shit it's really good have you beaten it yet actually i have i i went through it (laughs) once and 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 the funny thing is when I was playing, there was a short little time where there was like a little glitch where you can cheat. There's like a section under the menu you can cheat. Like you can uh, have an invincibility so you go through each level without being hurt. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally cheating, but it's great. <laughs> then, then I'm... <laughs> And the next day, I'm like, where'd it go? It's gone! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have an awesome song for us, Mr. Music? Yes, yes, I'm the music man, and the most awesome song of the week, and it'll always be awesome, no matter what. And I mentioned it earlier as my favorite song, and that is In the Air Tonight by Mr. Phil Collins. Woo! Also spoiled it at the very beginning of the podcast. You're like, it's going to be the awesome song of the week. Just wanted to build some tension for you guys. <laughs> tension. I don't really care. Uh, there's a uh, ur- urban legend behind the song, really, because people think that the song is about Phil Collins witnessing a, like a murder by drowning. And then eventually he sees the same guy at his concert and he sings the hell out of it through his song. But it's just the urban legend. It's wrong. <laughs> if he really wanted to say that he saw somebody get murdered, I can see you murdering that guy tonight. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, uh, it- the, uh, song 
was originally written during his first divorce. So it's inspired by his first divorce, and that's boring. You know, murder is better than divorce. And I actually was researching about the song. Actually, Eminem referenced, referenced the urban legend in his song. What is it? I think it's Stan. Yeah. By research, he means talking to Chris. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to uh, give you a song break of the most awesome song of the week. And uh, I've decided over the month we tried to do this of what to play. Uh, there is a official 1988 remix of the song and it's by uh, Ben Lee Brand. It's pretty it's pretty awesome. It it's got that dark tone to it. It's it just makes it more awesome to the original song. Yay murder <laughs> Oops you did <laughs> You can't murder me, sir <laughs> Murder. <laughs> oh, I need an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> I need an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So oh, I've been in stitches the past couple of days. I've been laughing so hard. There's some. Uh, we were. Uh, uh, I was on the forums. And, uh, you know, idiots of YouTube, I was, uh, <laughs> I was, I was on that thread and, uh, Johnny Reload was talking about the Chad Warden who made the, the video about how the PlayStation 3 was better than the Wii and the Xbox. <laughs> and he said some pretty, he said some pretty horrible things, obviously. He was obviously trolling. And <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Reload quoted him and I saw it and I was, I was just cracking up. Because he was talking about the Wii controller, and this is how he talks. He's like, yo, that controller is like a fucking D.O. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Reload's quote, he goes, he quotes him, he goes, you shove it up your ass like a D.O. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. I was almost in tears. It was so funny. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Shove a controller up your ass like a deal, though. <laughs> I won't play my games with no fucking deal. <laughs> you, should, you should make a response <laughs> video for that about the, um, the um, Xbox 360 Connect. <laughs> yeah. You can't shove your controller up your deal because there ain't no controller. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no fucking deal, though. It's just a camera. I use my own dick, damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, are we recording? Yeah. Yeah, we're... Yes! <laughs> you shove out your ass like a deal, dope. <laughs> go, go, get it, segue. I think, I think, Susie, you should talk about the most awesome web video or forum video you saw. Oh, yeah, it was a forum video, which I've seen quite a few times now. Um... The person's name's Kirby Gal, and she does a show called uh, There's No Business Like Show Business, where she's reviewing um, and movies with musical twists on them or musicals, uh, stage shows, etc. She's done quite a few videos on there, but my favourites have to be, because I'm a big musical theatre nut, um, she did a review of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I hate with a passion, but wanted to see what she made of it. And it was a really, really, really funny review. Uh, just completely taking the piss out of it. And um, basically letting me see what happens at the end of the film, because I've never watched it to the end. <laughs> um, and it was, it was, she's got a really good twist on, on uh, reviewing things. And she brings on, all, uh, her sister comes on for cameos as well, which is really funny. Um, and they're trying to do the time warp in one in one segment, and oh, it's so funny. I think, 
I think that's great. Tim Curry gets mentioned twice on, on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> he is the only good thing about that movie, because the movie Once itself is... Transsexual. Uh, that, that's the only decent song in there. It's just the rest is so shit. Um, it's, it's just basically a porno with <laughs> with music in it. <laughs> hey, that'd be great for Brad Jones to review the cinema snab. <laughs> cinema snab is going to review the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't. I was going to ask him to do a cameo in the Wild Wild West review because it's some porno. It seems like it's from a porno in some bits. There's, there's, there's a lot of. Um, I, I don't know. It's just very strange. <laughs> very, very. Uh, Wild Wild West. Mm-hmm. Blood by the graph. <laughs> Only line I remember from that. Blood by the graph. Oh god! Don't even, don't even get give me started on Wild West because the the song Wild West is a bad bad song. Wild, Wild West, Smith. Oh, it's the Wild Wild West. Wicka wicka wah, wicka wah, wicka wicka wah Wild West. Wild West, what's going on with me? Wild Wild, the Wild Wild West. God, that sucks. God, I can't wait to review that damn music video. Go go get it, Segway. Uh. Uh, since we got rid of the uh, most awesome former viewer, which is Kirby Gal, and I just wanted to say that she will be perfect for Shadow Record because she reviews music calls. Oh, way to whore out the site even more. <laughs> exactly. you got to whore everything out for people to listen to and check out. Yes. yes. So Kirby Shattered Gal, Record. come and join us. Shamelessly whoring itself out to your demographic. <laughs> yeah, I like watching I like watching videos where people get their dogs to do like amazing stuff. Like there's this one guy I remember posted a video where he had his dog like fetch him a beer. Oh, I saw that. That like, was brilliant. Yeah, he's like, Oh, did you remember to shut the fridge? And then the dog goes back and shuts the door and comes back and he's like, That's a good boy. I was like, Oh, I want my dog to do that. But instead of like fetching me a beer, he would fetch me a Yoo Hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't dog. <laughs> good dog bringing me my chocolate milk. <laughs> Mine's only uh, just started bringing me the mail. And he's uh, eight <laughs> in January. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's a dumbass. <laughs> what kind of dog? Uh, his, uh, his name's Aiden. Everybody thinks he's a girl. He's like, no, he's not Aaron Brockovich. He's Aiden. Uh, he's a he's a black Labrador and he's absolutely stunning. Ooh. Uh, I, remember, I was watching uh, one of the reviews on the forums. That darn Irishman. He was reviewing um, uh, Lake Placid, and his dog just appeared <laughs> in the middle of the review. <laughs> and he he really incorporated the dog well. I was impressed. He's he's like, oh, this movie sucks. I want to kill myself. And he looks at the dog. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> and, the dog just, and, the, and the dog just kind of did one of those like head turns, like it was like pondering it. Oh, like, oh the dog! Went it. <laughs> it was great. I, was like, I want to kill myself. What about you? And the dog's like, hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, d- I did the most awesome thing the other day. Um, I've been wanting to make a Facebook page for a couple of years now for my dog, and I did one. <laughs> <laughs> my dog's on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that reminds me of something I saw. This um, lady created a Facebook page for her unborn child. Oh, and it was basically a picture of an ultrasound. Fuck! <laughs> 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 and it was the funniest thing because she was just like, she was like making up, she was posting as the unborn child, like, oh, I'm coming in a couple of months. I'm glad you guys are already friends with me, even though I'm not born yet. And, like, a couple people liked it and were just like, oh, I can't wait for you to come. And I guess, <laughs> I guess the divorced husband, who's the father, is just like, yeah. He, he's like, listen, I forget what the baby's name was, but it was just like, listen, your mom is a freaking idiot and insane. <laughs> 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 she thinks this is a good idea that she's posting, like, 
as you, as an unborn child, and then the ch- and then the lady like responds to the ex husband like, well, fuck you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And, and then the guy posts back and he goes, I'm not arguing with my unborn child over Facebook. I'm calling <laughs> child service. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was great. That's, oh, that's that's like my, awesome. my dog has friends on Facebook. It's, it's yeah, most let, of my family. Actually, I, I just, it's, um... Oh, it's so cute. We we do updates as him, just saying, well, the people finally decided to feed me. And they wouldn't let me out the back <laughs> to go and do my business, and they finally gave me water. <laughs> and, they, do you, uh, and you know the uh, Bejeweled Blitz that's on Facebook? He plays it every day. <laughs> he gets a daily spin and gets his coins. He's very talented. <laughs> he can get the mail and play on Facebook. <laughs> I'm just looking for the uh, unborn Facebook child argument. Here it is. Yep, I found it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna read it out loud. Uh, hey, this is, uh, the baby's name is going to be April. <laughs> and uh, it's a picture of an ultrasound. I would just like to thank everyone for being my friends, even though I'm still a little bun in the oven. And I can't wait to party with you all next Halloween. And some lady says, happy Halloween, I can't wait to beat you. Somebody says, me too. And then Brad, who is the father, says, April, no offense, but your mom is a fucking nut. There is a reason why we are not friends on Facebook anymore and don't talk anymore. I'm excited to have you in in my life, and I think you will be the best daughter if you are mine. But this is fucking ridiculous. Monique, take this page down. If this is going to be my baby too, I think you should I think before you do shit like this, we should have to agree and this is just fucked up. April replies <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Brad. Maybe if you would step up and, and own up to getting my mom pregnant and take full responsibility, then we wouldn't be in this situation. So fuck you. My mama can do what she and if she wants to make me a Facebook page so I can be born into this world with good friends, then you can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Brad awesome. Is I refuse to argue with my unborn child via Facebook. I am contacting child services. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the magic of Facebook. Way to end the podcast, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's awesome. Fuck you, Brad. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Yeah, fuck you, Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so if you should think I've put a random Facebook page to create and then just make one up. I've done mine. Make one on a pet rock or something. Or a pet turtle. <laughs> make, make one up for your laptop. My name's Lappy. <laughs> I, I make one for Ralph. Hi, my name is Ralph. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Oh my. I swallowed a thumbtack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love Ralph. Yeah. Love Ralph. My mommy says I wouldn't have so many nosebleeds if I just kept my finger out of there. <laughs> I met my Wookie. I met my tongue. <laughs> no, the best one was I bet my Wookie. Super Nintendo Chalmers. And hello. Super Nintendo Chalmers. Hello, I'm Dr. Stupid. I'm going to take out your liver bone. Oops, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> The host is laughing his ass off and can't breathe. <laughs> you not breathing? That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you can't kill the host. But if I kill him, then I'll be the host. And I'm the recorder. <laughs> and we have a system in place. For when you're gone. 
Oh my god. All we gotta do, you guys, all we gotta do is kill the host and then I'll be the host of this podcast. No more Mike. No more Mike. They're all against me, help! <laughs> uh-huh. Time to deliver yourself to the devil. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is just... Oh, <laughs> we have all of this... that appearance by Mickey Mouse. Time to deliver you to the devil. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, diddly ho. Hey, diddly hey. <laughs> Paddly diddly, neighbor Rooney. Aw, oh, Flanders. <laughs> Flanders. Don't. 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 <laughs> I love that clip in The Simpsons where they show how many doughs Homer's done over the years. Like, do, 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 do. There's a doe song like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like a whole, I think there's like a couple of remixes of that song too, like a techno version too. Like, do, do, do. <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> no, but the best, oh. the best Simpsons song ever is a Spider Pig remix. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the choir version is the best one, though. The I, one where I, he goes yeah. into the dream state. Spider pig, spider pig, tells what the spider pig does. <laughs> Look out. Here comes the spider pig. <laughs> oh my God. He's not spider pig anymore. He's Harry Plopper. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going off track here a little bit. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, we've pretty uh, much, I think we've gone on for about an hour at least. I at think, least of recording. Let's hope so. Uh, any uh, final words to end this podcast? Well, in honor of my good friend, uh, well, not good friend, someone I want to be good friends with because he is a fellow podcaster, uh, uh, Chris Larios, Rolo T. I guess we should guess to do a little bit of a tribute to him because this is the only time I will tribute to him before I start a war. Fuck Nick. Okay, there we go. I did it. I said it. <laughs> okay. Random. Very random. It is random, but if you know Rolo T or see any of the podcasts he does with why ruler of time? You you'll get that. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Which will suck if I ever get on transmission. Awesome. And uh, uh, why ruler of time is one of the hosts. <laughs> oh look at that! <laughs> Skype is cocked out. Goodbye, everybody. That was. This has been Attack of the Awesome first episode. Uh, stay tuned for the future episodes. I'm your host, Mike. And I'm Chris. Watch my videos. I'm Susie. Have watch a... our videos too. <laughs> watch our videos, damn it! Watch my Don't goddamn watch my videos! videos. <laughs> yeah, do yeah. Donald Duck says don't watch Mike's videos. The end. Have an awesome day. See ya. We love you! Bye -bye. Come back, please! <laughs> <laughs>
remember in uh, uh, what was it, Star Wars Episode Three, when he goes in and he starts killing all the aliens? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you watch um i can't pronounce his name it was luke uh he's he's on the he's on the main side he's on back out the glasses he was uh he's got a series called, called the film film conscious yes him yeah he did the top 20 um vid- worst video game uh voice acting lines mm-hmm. did you guys see that no that was so bear my bear my arctic blast <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I was cracking up at, at like every single one because they were so funny. <laughs> like, you fools, you challenge me with chicory. <laughs> and I don't believe in magic. Onward! Why <laughs> <laughs> <Part of> the conversation? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here eating cookies. I love my cookies. Put the cookie down! <laughs> yeah, but I like them. <laughs> Is that how Arnold Schwarzenegger does voice warm up? Me, 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 cookie. <laughs> I just love that. Put the cookie down remix. Put the, put the, put the, put the cookie down. Now! Put the cookie down. Now! <laughs> Put the cookie down, bam! Put the hey, I kind of speak. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just kind of wait for that. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I I do that too once I I'm filming something. I'm trying to do my lines, and all of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> shit! I gotta do it all over again. <laughs> A Tasmanian devil moment. <laughs> 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 you should just put up a clip of of uh, Taz on the bloop on if you make bloopers, put up a Tasmanian Devil clip. <laughs> <laughs> it would work. I need I need to watch. I've watched all the nostalgia critic stuff up to date. I love the commercials one. Uh, yeah, commercial special, yeah, that was pretty cool. I love the comments on after my pet monster because it's just like he's ending, he's ending. Yeah, is this is this at the end of the nostalgia critic? The, oh my god! No, no you dumbass! <laughs> no, you dumbass! That's a, a storyline, dumbass. Watch the next episode, you'll see. Yeah, he just says, "Fuck it, I'm just going to do them anyway." Yeah, just fuck them. <laughs> Hello, I'm a nostalgia critic. <laughs> I'm sketchy. And a nostalgia critic. Buddha. Any change? You got change? Oh, this should be a nostalgia critic musical. <laughs> this with uh, songs are from the bum. Got any change? <laughs> Come on, you gotta have change. You know, I, I think that's what they should do for the third anniversary of the musical. Mm-hmm. Oh, this it's, shit. Uh... Yeah, if you catch me any time next week, Mike, I'll just be singing the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. Just be, hello, Mike, come on on. I come on to check emails. Not going to talk to you just now because I'm busy. Going to go to sleep. Want a cookie? <laughs> Want a cookie? No. But I would like a cookie dipped in milk. <laughs> <laughs> See if, if we get Kirby Gal uh, um to come and be a guest on the show. We'll do nothing but sing through it all, probably going, How are you today? I am fine, how are you? What shows did you see today? I saw this. I saw that. <laughs> and I saw this, you saw that, I saw this, you saw that. That was shit. <laughs> I'd be talking, I'd, I'd be having loads and loads of questions with him. What did you think of this show? Yeah. Yes, it is Russian. Yes, it is Russian. The <laughs> Russian podcast. <laughs> sounds more. That sounds more like a Scottish podcast there. Oh, hey, the new. It's a Scottish podcast. 
with Sean Connery on Skype. Freaking Skype. I need to explain that one time. <laughs> that, that just came out of nowhere. I was like, Skype. Fucking Skype. Sean Connery and Yuri Karpov. Yeah, we're seeing Skype is shite. <laughs> if, uh, have you seen Eddie Izzard doing uh, his Sean Connery uh, impersonation on YouTube? He's, he's really funny at it. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's brilliant. He, um, what moment is it he does? It's like in his second show or something, or his fourth. If you look up Eddie Izzard in the show Glorious, when it comes up with this and he talks about uh, Noah's Ark and Sean Connery would be Noah. It's like, we're going to have all the animals sitting on the side of the speedboat that will shoot across the water and make cracking pictures for the Bible. <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant. He's my favourite comedian. Because he's a transvestite. He's freaking awesome. What? Huh? What? What? Huh? 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 I'm gonna who's a... What you call it? <laughs> it's a one, a two, a three. That's three. Ah, ah, ah. He went that way. Three blocks. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, one, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. I love Sesame Street. Cookie Monster! <laughs> Cookie! Nom, 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 nom. Oh, God, I just thought of the best crossover thing you could do, like, put that cookie down! Nom, nom, nom! <laughs> cookie Monster and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, that's gold right there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make that. Do a remix. <laughs> cookie Monster meets Arnold Schwarzenegger. Put that cookie down! Nom, nom, nom! I will make a million hits on YouTube with put that cookie down. No! <laughs> <laughs> of course! Of course! Of course. That was like the gay version. <laughs> of course! Like, of course! Yeah. Ta. Ta. <laughs> Only yeah. 